Jay Lachey. I'm so excited. Guys, these times are getting faster and faster and faster, and uh, I don't think that that's going to change with our next couple of runners. We've got Jay Lewis, Caleb Bergstrom, Trubecker, Caden Lepsack, Josh Auer. Uh, do you think we're going to see uh, under 120 on this course? I think we'll uh, – no, it just got the under 120. But, oh, uh, my B. I was going off of 121. So I let's see. What are we at right now? 119. How about below 115? I think someone's going to get below 110. That is bold, but Jackson, you know a thing or two about beating stage two quickly, doing so in, I think, what, 42 seconds? 48 seconds. Well, Jay Lachey ha de has definitely seen your stage two run, Jackson. He, I mean, I mean, this is a little bit more technical than your stage two, so I think he wants to take his time a little bit, but only enough to uh, get one of the fastest times so that he knows what to do on stage three. And look at who's on the sidelines. Joe Morovsky coming right back from failing special delivery. Jay trying to get redemption. And it looks like Jay Lachey is going to skip it. Ooh, don't die. Okay. Thumbs up. I was a little bit worried. I thought he might have rolled his ankle. Jay knows a thing or two about rolling his ankles. So I was a little bit scared about that. He uh, had, he, I think he either sprained or broke his ankle. And then I think like a week later, he broke his other one. So it was very good to see that his ankles are intact for once. Now Jay is a little bit behind Noah's pace. I think the only way to make it up is if he executes this uh, momentum shift absolutely perfectly in a smooth movement here. And that we is why they call him Jay Lachey, ladies and gentlemen. What a great move off of momentum shift. And ahead of Noah Muner's pace. But just barely. And, and a casual stroll of the button is not going to cost him the fastest time. 119, nodding back in approval. Jay Lachey on to stage three. A stage that he has been to in now three straight world championships.